Imagine a world filled with dragons and unicorns, with mermaids and monkey kings, with fairies and a phoenix who rises from the ashes, with a frog prince and a slow but steady tortoise who always wins. Imagine all the stories that have been written and told about them. Now, imagine your story. Hi, I'm Amy Allopatty, and I'm a children's librarian with Montgomery County Public Libraries. And right now, I'm going to tell you about something you can do this summer that's really special and really fun. And you can do it even if you can't visit a Montgomery County Public Library in person. It's the Summer Read and Learn program. And I know a lot of you participated last year when our theme was all about outer space. This year, we want you to imagine your story. It can be fantastical, like the creatures I mentioned earlier, or it can be about the dreams you want to achieve and the life you want to live. Let's get started. The Summer Read and Learn program runs from June the 15th to August 31st, and there are different activities for children ages birth through five years old, children ages six to 12 years old, and there are even special activities for teenagers ages 13 through 17. We're doing online sign up this year. So you can sign up online by creating or logging into your Beanstack account on our website, www.montgomerycountymd.gov slash library. Ask a parent or guardian to help you. In Beanstack, you'll keep track online of the books that you read and the activities you do. Here's how it works. You'll earn prizes by doing 12 challenges. You can choose from the listed activities or you can read books. You can read or do these activities by yourself or with your family or even your pets. And you'll keep track of the activities and books that you finish. Make sure you record them online in Beanstack to be eligible for the raffles. Now, you're used to getting a paper game board at the library. We won't be handing those out this year. You can download and print one from the library website if you wish. On one page, there's a place to keep track of all the titles of the books that you read. And right above that, there's a certificate of completion that your grown-up can sign when you have finished all of the activities. Another page of the game board is like a treasure map with 12 different activity islands you can explore. And it doesn't matter what order you do them in. You might visit Unicorn Island first and attend a virtual library program or choose to read a book. Next, you might visit the Phoenix to draw a map of your neighborhood or read a book. Then you can go to the Island of the Lion and act out a fairy tale or read a book. Just remember to log all of your reading and activities online in your Beanstack account to be eligible for those prizes. So here's how you keep track on Beanstack. Log into your Beanstack account. Look at the list of activities you can choose from. Choose to do an activity or substitute reading a book. And when you're finished the activity or book, click the box to show you're done. And remember, you'll be leveling up. When you complete three activities or books, you'll earn an apprentice e-badge. When you complete six activities and or books, you'll unlock the adventurer e-badge. When you've completed nine activities or books, you'll be awarded with the hero e-badge. And after you've completed 12 activities and or books, you'll get the champion e-badge. Congratulations, you have completed the program. You will have an automatic entry into an e-raffle for a family four-pack of Maryland Science Center one-day passes, and you'll be automatically entered into an e-raffle for an adult-child kid museum one-day pass. 
In September, you can stop by any library and pick up a champion bag, including a voucher for a free book of your choice at the Friends of the Library Montgomery County, Maryland bookstores, and two surprise treasures. Let's take a look at some of those treasures. I have my treasure box right here. When you open your champion bag, you might find that you've been awarded a dragon that squirts water. Or perhaps you'll get a different sort of dragon, a pocket dragon. They come in different colors and different dragon species. You might open up that prize bag and find some wizard slime inside. Or you might find that you've gotten one of our unicorn prizes. Maybe you'll find a unicorn headband in your bag, or you might find a plushy unicorn that magically changes colors. These are just a few of the prizes that you might find in your prize bag. And remember, your name will also be entered into those raffles for the Maryland Science Center Family Four Pack of Tickets and the Kid Museum Passes. We'll be running those raffles on September the 5th. If you choose to read a book instead of doing the activities, that's fine. You can read books that you have at home. You can read library books. You can visit the library website to borrow e-books and e-audiobooks and e-magazines. If you're still not quite sure what to read, you can look at some of the graded book lists posted on the library website to get ideas that are just right for you. I'd like to tell you about some of the books from the book lists for kindergarten through sixth grade. There are lots more on the lists too. Books about sports and friendship and history and animals, mythology, science, magic, and more. There's something for everyone. These are just a few suggestions to get your imagination going. Imagine what you would do if you found a fallen star. Would you put it in a jar? Find out what one boy decides to do in this picture book, Star in a Jar by Sam Hay, illustrated by Sarah Massini. Or like Mira and her neighbors, imagine how art and a little splash of color can transform a whole neighborhood in Maybe Something Beautiful by F. Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell with artwork by Rafael Lopez. Speaking of colors, with the help of her mouse friend, Maud the dragon discovers her courage along with her unique and colorful talent that lights up the sky in this story, The Night Dragon, written and illustrated by Naomi Howarth. There are also books that are perfect if you're just beginning to read on your own, like these imaginative stories about the gentle adventures of best friends, Unicorn and Yeti. They're written by Heather Aris Burnell, and the art is by Hazel Quintanilla. Or how about everybody's favorite, Pete the Cat, by James Dean. In this particular title, Sir Pete the Brave must save Lady Callie from a fearsome dragon. Or, wait, is it Lady Callie who has to save Pete? And to learn some new vocabulary, Check out Oleander and Sally Mander in Smell the Daisies, a big words, small stories book by Judith Henderson with pictures by T.L. Macbeth. When you spot a sprinkle fairy on any page in this book, you can be sure a big word is coming up. If you're reading chapter books, you might enjoy King of the Mole People by Paul Gilligan or Dragons in a Bag by Zeta Elliott. Imagine how your life would change if, like Doug, you suddenly became king of the mole people. How would you prevent giant worms from rising up and destroying everything? 
Or what if, like Jax, you accidentally let all the baby dragons out of the bag? Keeping them in the bag was not nearly as easy as it sounded. Maybe you enjoy reading books in a series like the Puppy Pirates series by Erin Soderberg. They're puppies and they're pirates. They play hide and seek with a sea monster, sail into the mysterious Bermuda Triangle, discover a haunted ship, and have many more adventures on the high seas. If you prefer your adventures in a comic book or graphic novel format, we've got you covered there too. You can read about a captive mermaid in Fish Girl by David Wiesner and Donna Jo Napoli. Or find out how Zoe and her new friends form a squad to fight monster mayhem in this series by Christopher Eliopoulos. Or even read your favorite fairy tales illustrated by lots of different great cartoonists in Fairy Tale Comics, edited by Chris Duffy. You'll discover even more adventures in longer chapter books for older readers. In the Unicorn Rescue Society books by Adam Gidwitz and Jesse Carey, you'll join a group of kids who are on a mission to save magical creatures of all sorts. Ozzy's mission is a little different in this book, The Secret of Zoom. Ozzy befriends a princess with a peculiar curse and a tiger with wings. A sky tiger. A skyger. Together they discover doorways to different worlds, but when the portal back to Earth collapses, they must race to fix it in time to save the multiverse. Aru Shah is also on a quest to save the world, but in this case, it's all Aru's fault that the world is in danger to begin with. She didn't really mean to release that demon from the magic lamp. And then to find out what happens, you'll have to read Aru Shah and the End of Time by Roshani Chakshi. And if you like it, there's a sequel. In Lynn Kelly's book, Song for a Whale, Iris, who was born deaf, is on a quest of her own. She wants to help a whale whose song cannot be heard by other whales. Iris feels a connection to Blue 55, and she imagines she can end his loneliness by singing back to him. While this is not a true story, it was inspired by a real whale. And if you like books with true information in them, there are many nonfiction books for you to choose from, like this biography of an ice skater who imagined she could achieve her dream despite the many barriers she encountered, and she did. Written by Rose Vigna and illustrated by Claire Allman, this is Icebreaker, how Mabel Fairbanks changed figure skating. Or imagine what you could make, do, and learn when you look through Junior Maker, experiments to try, crafts to create, and lots to learn. I can't wait to try this mechanical shark grabber. Maybe I'll turn it into a dragon. Perhaps you prefer poetry. You might be inspired by Seeing Into Tomorrow, a book of haiku by Richard Wright, illustrated by Nina Cruz. In addition to the poetry, I love the photo collage illustrations. It would be fun to write your own haiku and create your own collages. Now, I don't know how much traveling we'll be able to do this summer, but you can take a virtual vacation when you read National Parks of the USA, written by Kate Seiber, with artwork by Chris Turnham. Encounter alligators in the Everglades, cliff houses at Mesa Verde, or molten lava at Volcanoes National Park. All of these books and thousands more are available for you to download or stream and read on your computer, laptop, Chromebook, tablet, phone, or other electronic device. And they're all free with your Montgomery County Public Library card. If you need a library card, you can apply online for a digital card. You can use that digital card to borrow eBooks, e-audiobooks, and Flipster e-magazines. You can read Tumble Books, Tumble Math, Book Flicks, and Junior Library Guild books on your tablet, phone, or computer. You can stream movies through Canopy Kids, 
or learn another language using Muzzy or Mango. You can check out our newest database, Hoopla, to borrow ebooks, movies, and music. And use your card to access many other databases for all kinds of learning and fun. Speaking of fun, I know you're used to coming to the library in the summer to see magic shows and puppet shows and meet farm animals. You won't be able to do that this summer. We won't be having those programs in person this year, but we're still going to have lots of programs and they'll all be available through the library website. We'll have live storytelling, music shows. You can sign up for a session of Read to a Dog. You can attend STEM events and watch science experiments being done and maybe even help out online. You can do craft programs with materials that you have just around your house. And you can take part in interactive book clubs to talk about books that other kids like you like to read. We'll also have some special guest performances of dance, puppetry, magic, and more for people of all ages. All of these summer read and learn programs, in addition to the prizes, are funded by the Friends of the Library, Montgomery County, Maryland, and Friends of the Library, local branch chapters. So a great big thank you, Friends of the Library, for making our summer read and learn program available free to all of you. And thanks to all of you for listening to me talk about our summer reading program. I hope all of you will join the summer reading program. I hope to see lots of you at our virtual programs in those little Zoom windows. But most of all, I hope that you'll find time this summer to imagine your story.